I, I, I must locate him. All right, so He's King Arc back important. on stream, but this time with Protom. Protom has just been moving up the ranks in the last uh, days of Smash 4. Yeah, what has been happening lately? <laughs> Did everyone forget that, like, Me Gunner works? Like, hello? And he, then wait till Me Gunner in the next game. Yeah, well, don't forget Mega Man here now, because King Arc's still looking to show this character kind of nice. And it didn't take too long for him to put any percentage on. This matchup as a whole is just incredibly weird, just because they both have a really solid spacing tool. But, ooh, like, in conjunction with each other's toolkits, getting in is going to be really weird. It's going to be a ton of hit and run. And the fact that King Arc starts with such a like, profound lead, it means things are going to be pretty heavy in Mega Man, at least for game one. Yeah, now, here's the thing. King Arc started this strong in his last time on stream against Karkson. Like, this is basically this is basically game one of him versus Karkson. It was this lopsided. And, uh, and King Arc has just got something to prove tonight or something, because, man, look at it. 70% already got a stock lead. He's got, he's got one more. He's going to show that he's nice in Smash 4. He's going to do it. He's oh, got yeah. the camera on him. Mm -hmm. He's got to show what's good. Uh, Proton's not going to take it that, that easy, though. He will put in some work now. He's going to play a little defensive right now. See, he's camping with the, um, with the uh, projectile so far. But it's not like Mega Man doesn't have projectiles either. So this is going to be, uh, I think the match is going to take a very, very slow turn at this point. Yeah, I, I wouldn't put it past either of these players to use the clock to its full advantage, especially with Proton as behind as he is currently. But... For what it's worth, three lemons doesn't really equate to one gunner neutral air, especially if, like, Proton can make something out of the hits he gets. Like, going for the little tit-for-tat shots, yeah, he's going to build on the percentage easily, but Mega Man's kind of a bit heavy. It's kind of a bit more of a struggle for Gunner to nab that oh, kill. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> that was nice. That was a nice reflex and switch of the crash bomb. I mean, typically the reflector doesn't get a chance to do much, but... I mean, hey, last days, you got to show everything you got. <laughs> this tool gets used for B-reversing and reflecting projectiles. Sometimes. Allegedly. When it wants to work. We'll give it some time. Yeah, Anyways. So now, but now, see, he's got him to 100% this Proton, but um, the problem is he's at 66 with stock down. Yeah, it, it's a bit of a rough ride. Mega Man runs really well when having the stock advantage. And given that it's Final Destination, like, Gunner doesn't really have the space to make use out of how good uh, her aerial mobility is. Like, Proton's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Can't secure the kill. And Mega Man doesn't mind having a little bit of rage. Oh, man. Uh, all right, able to get back on, uh, onto the ledge. Can he get back on stage cleanly? Oh! Try to get the down smash him, but not able to. Oh my goodness! Yeah, Nintendo that angle, it's a oh. done deal. All right, that's what I came here to say. A lot, a lot of effort into that, man. He was so close to getting back on stage. It just did not work out. You know, he didn't even need the down air. Mm -hmm. That was entirely unnecessary. Man just wanted the clip. One way or the other, though. Pro Tom, down the game. Still wouldn't really call it in and out, though. Like... Given Proton's recent performances, I could very well see him turning this around. It's really just King Arc started so confidently into this game. So as long as that doesn't happen, it should be an even playing field. Town and City is the setting for game two. And at the very least, we get to see Proton make use of platforms for moving around. I was mentioning this a little bit earlier in game one. And, uh, and there's a refer back to King Arcs for his uh, last game on stream, I should say. Um, it was a reverse uh, with him and Karkson. Him and Karkson started off, I believe, on the stage, and then game two went to FD. So this is kind of the reverse. So let's see if, uh, like you're saying, Proton can use the uh, platforms to the advantage. But so far, 30% difference, a little more now. It's still looking like King Arcs is the dominant one in this set so far. It's really just that like King Arc has had better placement of his projectiles, I feel. Mm -hmm. Well, Proton certainly knows what he can do with oh, yeah. his kit. It's naturally not as aggressive as Mega Man. Mega Man has the option to go aggro, and we often see that from King Arc. He's not a very defensively oriented Mega Man, and he's pretty confident in what he can do with his projectiles. Although, given the situation is not nearly as lopsided as Game 1 at this point was, it's. I think this is an, uh, one that could go down to the wire. You were mentioning earlier how you know time is a big oh. factor in this kind of a matchup between these characters, especially these players. But um, I think this is the type of setting where we really get to see that kind of buzzer beater style of play. So this is a lot more of an even match now. When King Arc, uh, again, his dominance has been shown on stream so far, and both times to be able to step toe to toe with him so far. Oh, except he does it stop now. Of course. Of course that happens. You did a really good job of reading the low recovery, though. And yeah. The patience you need with Mega Man going back deep Ooh. downwards. 
Like, if you mess up any of your your positioning, your jump is up B, you're done for. Oh, right into him. Trying to do something with the up throw, but not really able to get too much off of it. It's not nearly as grim as uh, game one, but at the pace we're going, King Ark's walking out of here into winter centers. Oh, for sure. <laughs> the last hit of the crash bomb. So even though Photom is looking a lot stronger in this game, he's still not able to take the stock from King Ark. Oh, yeah, that'll do it though. <laughs> I'm really good for that, still. Gets the blade down, forward air for extra damage, another blade, and just like that, King Ark asserting a lot of uh, damage on the ledge here. It's just gonna be an onslaught. I think in this kind of a situation, I was going to say King Ark can't afford to let Proton off the ledge. Because that would have been a done deal for securing the, uh, the stock. Oh but my goodness. So right now, yeah, uh, Proton's uh, offstage game, center stage game, looking a lot stronger right now than King Ark. King Ark kind of losing an edge a little bit, I feel like. He was so aggressive in the first game, and now it's just kind of had to slow it down. And that's, sure, that's just the nature of the beast with a uh, zoning match like this. Because mm -hmm. if King Ark gets too antsy, he can find himself in for a world of hurt. And that's a ton of pressure at the ledge. Unfortunately for Proton, he's not able to do much with it, but Neutraler's wonky hitbox coming as a saving grace for him. And we're almost at about even right now. Proton is putting in a lot of work to get this to break back to where he wants it. But he's a little trouble in trouble now. He his jump, man, just to come back. Oh my goodness. Quick up air from King Ark right on the stage. If not for the fact that Oh! oh. Alright, oh last. Mm. I was making note that Proton had uh, the Metal Blade in hand, and if not for that, right there, King Ark could have just secured the kill with the up air. But he still managed to clip him out with the third hit of back air, mm -hmm. and that's it. But, like I said earlier, given how Proton's been doing lately, we should be able to see him later oh, on. Oh, yeah, definitely.